makers want to go another update on fencing we've got a series of these that we're going to go ahead and do we've just finished and posted i think on friday the one about the h post and now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually tie in the corner post so we've actually dug that in already so here's the existing h now we're going to go ahead over here and we are going to actually tie in this other post which is then going to give us our corner post you can see it's already in the ground nice and nice and secure if you look on the actual ground we've probably got 90 to 95 percent of the dirt back in the hole so looking real good we've already selected the log that we're going to use as our h for the h post and uh, i'm going to go ahead and get to uh, get to measuring and then i'm going to go ahead and get to cutting so that way we can tie this all together Stay with us. Okay, you can see here we've got our hole or the uh, area we're going to insert the H post into the actual corner post. What you can see is you can actually see that there's, it's kind of exaggerated, but I'm going to show an exaggeration with my finger. It's slanted upward on the bottom and it's slanted downward on the top. So important is when rain and other stuff like that comes down this post, it has a way to go ahead and not only come in, but then it has a way to come out. So that way, weather's really important. I mean, these are going to be out here. We're hoping for 40 to 50 years. Can't guarantee it, but that's what we're hoping that uh, God will bless us with. And that's one of those pieces where when we're doing something, the best we can do to, uh, to make it correct the first time so that way we don't have to redo it multiple times is uh, what we shoot for here on the homestead. Because there's nothing worse than doing a job multiple times, um, especially when you know if you just took a little bit extra time, you could do it right and make it last a lot longer. So that's what we're shooting for. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side now and then we're gonna measure. When we go across for the H post, what I actually do is I insert one side all the way until where it stops. And then when I cut the other side, we'll uh, we'll demonstrate right here. I'll actually show you. Okay, so what we're doing is my finger is actually how far the other side is cut into. So what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna go ahead and measure straight here and then just mark it. So that way I know what to cut. 
because I really want these to make sure that it actually extends all the way through there. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of the integrity of the corner post or the other part of the H post when I put this in so that way when I tie it together with the wire it'll actually then pull it really tight and then it makes it secure so that way when you're pulling wire and other stuff like that it all locks together and it acts as a true one strong unit. So we're going to cut this then we'll be back with you showing how we tie it together. Okay so what we're going to do again is take our 22 inch piece of rebar like we similar to what we did on the H post pull it through and then start wrapping it together. You can hear it again. Starting to pull the boards together. And on this particular one, what I did was on this H post, because we are going a little bit downhill, I went ahead and actually put this one on this end at 41 inches and this one on this end at 43 inches on the H post. So that way it would look pretty level. Of course, then after that I chose a board that was a little bit bowed, but that's okay. In this particular part, we are feeling good about where we're at. So I'm gonna take this last wrap, get it in here. And you really do have to put quite a bit of force on it if you want it nice and tight. If you look over here, you can see the give on it, very little, same way down low. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick the staple in, and again, remember, when you're putting in your staples, make sure you put them a little bit of an offset. That offset makes all the difference for when you're trying to prevent splitting the wood real bad. So we've got it there. And now you can see the whole corner post. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your fencing. Come on.